This is Alan Jansen, traditional acupuncture with some 30 years experience. I'd like to welcome you uh, to this video and the subject of the video uh, that we're recording today is depression and the treatment of depression. What is depression? Uh, depression comes in so many different forms and sadly uh, it's becoming increasingly prevalent in the 21st century. Uh, all sorts and shapes of depression, the depression that uh, um, born of um, victimisation in schools and bullying, workplace bullying, uh, relationship breakups, financial hardship and just general depression from the rate of change that we're experiencing in the 21st century. The fact that it's very difficult to, for us to hang our hat on any given thing and say, well, this is the way it's going to be until the day I die. This is just not the way it is in this day and age. Depression uh, can be defined in many, many different ways. I'm not going to try and medically define it, but the basic result of uh, depression is a, an apathy towards life, a lack of inspiration, a lack of joy or enjoyment uh, from daily life, and in many cases too, it become becomes a, a very tricky situation to be able to relax or get sleep or get quality sleep. In most instances that I've found, um, uh, people suffering from depression have come to see me more often than not uh, already or have already tried medication for this particular situation. <clears throat> I think I've covered why it happens. Uh, there are lifestyle factors, there are constitutional factors. Some people are born with a, um, a, a predisposition uh, to, to tend towards um, a depressive kind of uh, response to many situations. Uh, some people are born to an angry response to situations. So it can differ according to constitutions. And then there's the lifestyle and life events. And so much contribute to someone experiencing depression or lack of joy or vitality or enthusiasm or inspiration for life. Traditional acupuncture, in my experience, or, or from a, from a, from a uh, clinical perspective, is all about encouraging an appropriate flow of energy through the body. And one of the things that will occur in depression is the energy becomes uh, blocked or stagnated. Uh, a little bit like, uh, uh, ideally we would have the energy flowing around our body, both uh, the viscous energy or the blood, uh, the, the nerve energy, uh, the lymphatic fluids, uh, have everything flowing smoothly. That is the ideal climate for the human being. Um, this obviously is not the case in all circumstances. In fact, it's, it's not apparent uh, on a regular basis whatsoever in the 21st century. So, depression is a blockage of the energy. So it can be experienced in many different ways, but essentially speaking, it will revolve around what we call the quality of blood that's moving through the body. Um, the blood feeds the brain. Um, if the food or the blood, which is the food feeding the brain, is not of appropriate quality, then this, in my experience, can certainly affect our thought patterns and our moods, etc. Uh, hormonally uh, inspired situations also included in the quality of blood. So it's, it's the, the food that's getting uh, to the brain from an oriental medical perspective that, that is imperative to get um, to, to achieve some sort of balance and therefore uh, uh, the quality of thought, the quality of feeling will improve. And as I've just said, the traditional acupuncture is all about optimising uh, that flow of energy through the body. And in my experience, uh, certainly have been able to write imbalances in the liver, which is the great blood cleanser in the body. And very, all organs are important. The liver is extremely important in the 21st century because it responds to uh, inappropriate exercise, insufficient exercise, and excessive medication. Um, all, all of these factors and the emotional factors can combine to cause a blockage in the liver and traditional acupuncture without um, adding any fuel to the fire uh, has proven to me in the clinical environment to be very, very effective in dredging the liver and cleaning and cleaning up the act of the body, so to speak, and from a very um, preventative and from a long-term perspective, it's an extremely effective way of dealing with depression.